this video shows the steps to gamify your Salesforce instance with Funnifier. To start, access your Funnifier Studio with your account. Create a new gamification with Motivate Sales Team template. This template contains all features necessary to integrate your Salesforce with Funnifier. Inform a title and description and if you think it's necessary, an image to your new gamification. This template will provide all KPIs to monitor your results on this gamification. To start the integration access integration item and click on Salesforce. Click on Salesforce package to start the integration with Salesforce. You will see the package installation page and confirm that you are installing the Funnifier for Salesforce. Click on continue and grant access to everything required and click next. On approve package step, click on next and on security level step, grant access to all users and click next again. And at least click install and wait some seconds required for this integration. Wait some seconds and now your installation is being finished. You are almost ready on this integration. Now access the combo on the top right side of your screen and access Funnifier. Click on Funnifier admin tab to inform API key and app secret. The API key can be selected on your Salesforce page steps. Copy this API key and paste in API key field. The other important information is the app secret. To create a new app secret go to security option and create a new app. I will create a Salesforce app and you can copy this app secret key. To complete, go to player authentication tab and enable create if don't exist option and click on save. Go back to your Salesforce instance and paste your app secret and then click on save. Now your integration with Funnifier is ready. All of your sales reps will be presented in the player menu. Here you can edit each of your sales professional for example, changing his picture or name. Now the players can see their progress in the Funnifier tab. In this tab, your sales teams can see their own profile, the challenge, the leaderboards, and 
other info necessary to see the progress in the sales activities. Another important thing is to configure your home page to show the profile widget in the home page. Go to setup, search home page and edit your home layout. Add the profile funny file and change the position if you need. From now you can see in your home page the player profile with their progress. This is a funny fire widget. Now let's see the funny fire action in the Salesforce. For this I will create a new opportunity I will inform the opportunity name and some other fields. This is the activities that your sales team already do in the Salesforce, but now it will be gamified and your sales team will be more motivated after this. If anything important happened in Salesforce, you can create win states and Funify will process this info and provide the feedbacks that you have configured inside Funify. On this example, I'm receiving two notifications that tells me that I have completed the first opportunity registered in my in the gamification and I have leveled up. I will do another action in the Salesforce. I will edit this opportunity and I will close the opportunity. Now another very important thing happened in my gamification and I again receive feedback from Funnyfire. I have completed my first business close and level up again. Now the player can see his progress on the home page, he can see how many points, how many challenges and his progress in the gamification or he can go to Funnyfire tab and see more details, the badges, the challenges and his position in the leaderboard. Keep your team always motivated. Inside Funnyfire Studio, in the integration area, you can see the Salesforce actions that are being tracked by default. The account, the create lead, create contact, create opportunity actions. But if you want to track your custom actions, you can go to the last section to see how to create and track your own custom actions. Thank you.